Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Lesson Daily Briefing for Friday, the 1st of November, 2024. Uh, before I get started, uh, I'd just like to say a big thank you uh, to the outgoing CFI, Barry Elliott. Uh, a big thanks for all that he's done for us. Uh, and uh, I think we can all agree he's done a fantastic job. So many thanks, Barry. Uh, good luck for the future. And uh, we'll see you when you get back from a boy. <clears throat> so let's move on to the briefing. Uh, we'll start with the synoptic. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, the high pressure yesterday at lunchtime. And uh, if I can just run this forward to midnight last night and into lunchtime today, uh, we can see not much has changed. That high pressure is still hanging around. And uh, it is going to be here, for, I think, for maybe another uh, day or two. Uh, certainly running it through to lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, the high pressure is still around. It's moved a little bit out into the North Sea, but it's still there. So that's going to uh, be the, the dominant feature of our uh, weather today. Uh, light winds uh, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, not, not really much happening in the way of significant weather. Uh, looking at the sap peak, there is a bit of uh, cloud cover. Uh, I think that's all low level stuff. Uh, and if we have a look at the rain radar, there's uh, virtually nothing on the uh, the rain radar to uh, to note. If we run the uh, forecast rain through from nine o'clock uh, throughout the day, uh, there's nothing to affect us in this area, uh, and we should be able to go out and fly all day. Looking at the uh, odium uh, TAF, uh, they're suggesting 2806 knots, greater than 10k visibility, uh, broken at 2,000 feet, uh, and temporarily this afternoon uh, from about 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock tonight, uh, broken at 1,200 feet. Uh, so cloud bases are going to come down throughout the day. Farnborough are showing <coughs> a variable, <coughs> excuse me, a variable 3 knots, greater than 10k visibility, broken at 2,500 feet. Uh, with a 30% chance that um, uh, up until about 10 o'clock uh, this morning, um, visibility down to about seven kilometres. Spot winds then to the north of us, 300, 10 knots to the south, variable five. Uh, if we have a look at windy, uh, I've just picked lunchtime here. It's uh, the, the middle of our flying day, and uh, we can see the the, the wind's gone around from west, uh, heading around towards uh, sort of northwesterly. And I think by the end of the day, it's going to be a northerly flow, uh, but it's all going to be very light and it's, uh, it shouldn't affect us too much. Uh, the local uh, forecast has again shown the wind uh, going from westerly through north uh, westerly to northerly by about tea time. Uh, and they're showing a lot of low cloud. Uh, in the area. Temperatures uh, actually reducing from about lunchtime onwards, uh, about 12 centigrade uh, throughout the best part of the day. And uh, humidity is reasonably high, but at least it's not up in the 90s. GFS, <clears throat> they're showing about 13 to 14 centigrade in this area and a dew point uh, down at about nine. Uh, and interestingly, a sign of the, uh, the time of year, we've got uh, those uh, uh, dew points are dropping down below zero to the north of us uh, as the uh, the winter weather approaches. Here at Lashem, we've got about 10.5 centigrade with a dew point about eight. And if we have a look at the uh, the camera over from the other side, uh, we can see we've got that uh, uh, sort of reasonably uniform uh, layer of cloud, uh, low level, and uh, a light sort of northwesterly or westerly wind at the moment. Sky sight are uh, suggesting that the cloud base may get up to about 1,500 feet uh, above mean sea level today. That's um, uh, just over 1,000 feet here. <clears throat> uh, and it's going to uh, deteriorate towards the end of the afternoon. Uh, they're also showing that, uh, that we're going to have a cloud cover throughout the day with perhaps embedded cumulus in there. Uh, top meteor, this is 9 o'clock. Uh, we're showing the... Uh, cloud uh, basically below a thousand feet and if we run that through uh, by about 11 o'clock it's uh, below 2,000 feet and uh, it remains out uh, for the rest of the day according to uh, Top Meteor. No times today then. 
there's an awful lot around, but I don't think we're going to be going far from last year. So I'll just mention the local ones. Uh, Barton Stacey, number 12, the usual live firing there. Uh, 14 is Thursley. Uh, they're going to be firing flares. Uh, and that's no time to, uh, all day for about the next two weeks. Farnham, uh, not an issue. Uh, number 17 there, that's after uh, dark. Uh, so just fireworks tonight. Ash Ranges, uh, Delta 132 is going to be active. Uh, and number 20 at Jobham, uh, again, fireworks. But that's, again, going to be after a dark. Uh, so let's move on to the uh, airfield briefing then. Uh, we'll start with the usual... Podium cross section. <clears throat> They're showing the uh, cloud base up at about 2,000 feet uh, at the start of the day, but then gradually coming down. Uh, it's uh, going to be a sort of broken uh, uh, cloud, so there may be gaps in there. Um, but uh, you know, we're going to have to just keep an eye on the uh, on the cloud as, as the day goes on. Uh, we may we well be winch launching quite close to, if not into the gaps. Uh, so uh, just keep that in mind as you're going up the wire today. Surface winds uh, starting off 2905 knots, so um, pretty much a, a westerly flow, but going around towards northerly by the end of the day, and uh, no significant weather. The flying list, as per the uh, website, uh, is reasonably busy for the, um, the book instructor slots, <clears throat> and there's one or two uh, uh, single-seaters booked as well. Uh, so that basically equates to uh, 2K21s on instructional flying, uh, 1K21 on the casual list, and 1K21 boot by club members. Um, there's also a K13 allocated for trial lessons, but uh, I think we're going to have to cancel the trial lessons, and uh, that K13 will then become available. Uh, and there is availability on SH2, 3, 6, and 8. There's two men members on the casual list. Uh, and the simulator is available as per normal. Uh, there's nothing to report on uh, movements. Uh, so ops-wise, the general situation is a high pressure over southern England, light westerly wind going around towards the north by sea supply. Uh, we're set up on runway 27. Uh, the cables will be towed out on the boom uh, on the south side uh, with uh, gliders on the hard. Uh, we'll be landing on the grass, which is still wet and soft, uh, so please don't use the, uh, the, the the wheel brakes unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, and beware of misting canopies. Um, it's high pressure, it's light winds, uh, and we may well end up with canopies misting up uh, towards the end of the afternoon. Um, a reminder about buggies, uh, just seated passengers only, and uh, please do not land or taxi on the disused runways, uh, which are shown in red here. Um, there's a lot of rubble on them. Uh, it's fine for towing across when you're retrieving gliders, but please don't land or taxi across them. So the launch point vehicle will be uh, just the north of the centre line today with uh, club area towing uh, off the hull to the uh, the north of that and club winch launching to the uh, the south side on the hull, landing on the grass uh, and cables will be towed up uh, the side of the, uh, the runway. Uh, that's Pretty much it for me today. Uh, let's have a good day's flying. Make sure you all enjoy yourself. Have a great time. And please keep it safe. Thank you very much for listening.